Hello and welcome. We're going to take a look to see if DeepSeek can colour grade and produce LUTs. Now we know that ChatGPT and Claude can produce LUTs, we've done that in previous videos, but as DeepSeek is getting a lot of press at the moment, I thought I'd play with it to see if it could colour grade some footage for me. And here we go, here's DeepSeek and I've got a prompt already. Hello, can you build me a LUT in the DocCube format for colour grading? Is that something you can do? And I am actually logged in at the moment because they're experiencing some technical difficulties, but you don't actually have to be logged in to do this. Okay, yes, I can help you create a lookup table in the docu format. Are you looking for specific look? Technical correction, log to rec 709, color space. It's actually given me a bit more information than Claude and GPT have given, which is interesting. Um, okay, we want to generate a docu uh, file. So a new prompt, and we're going to say, I'd like you to output a LUT for Rec.709 rec color space that would give the footage the look of the film saving Private Ryan. So muted colors and the bleach bypass effect. Let me hit the button. Creating a LUT to emulate the look of saving Private Ryan involves replicating the signature muted colors. Yeah, high contrast, reduced saturation, gritty look. And we are making the LUT. So, Again, what I find interesting here is that the LLM is actually aware of the look. Um, you know, I, although I've said bleach bypass, it, it's actually said you know reduce saturation, in, in, increase contrast, and it is aware of film looks without you having to really prompt it. Um, now, I can't take this LUT; it's just printed it out in the. Um, in the window, hasn't it? So ChatGPT, you can actually download the whole LUT and it works straight off. But um, I'm gonna to have to take this and make a cube file out of it, which is okay. It's just another step that gets in the way. So if I copy and then back to text edit, making sure that that is plain text, yeah. Paste that all into the text edit and then go save. And we are gonna call this um, SPR grade one, grade one, and then it's got to have the dot cube extension on there. And if it, if I hit save, yeah, use cube. Right, that should be ready for us to use in almost any NLE. You know when you're recording something for a tutorial and it doesn't look right? Well, I had my suspicions, and this LUT just isn't big enough. Uh, to give you an example, if you look at one of the GPT LUTs that I generated. Here's the orange and teal, teal heavy um, LUT that I created using ChatGPT. You can see this thing's huge. It goes on and on and on and on and on and on. All the color grade, or changing all the pixels. And it's basically a matrix of RGB uh, transformations on there. So we're gonna give it another prompt. Um, okay, that didn't look like an Entire LUT, please output the um, a bridge version and let's see how far we get with that, shall we? You're absolutely right, it was a truncator for brevity, but uh, they require a complete set of uh, a point, a typical. Wait, let me generate a complete LUT. Okay, it's going to have a think about this. Um, it's going to be a long line of data, so I'll come back when it's finished. Bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, again, it just bailed out of trying to generate the LUT. Um, it's just too long. It can't do the 35,000 RGB values um, like ChatGPT and Claude did quite easily. Quite frightening how quick um, ChatGPT was doing um, generating LUTs. And I will leave that uh, video that I made and generated the LUTs somewhere either on the left or right. Anyway, back to this. Um, it suggested building a Python um, script, which is fine. Um, and here we go, here's the Python script. Now, if you haven't done this before, it's actually quite easy to do, but you copy it and then open up a text file, paste it into, it needs to be a plain text file, paste it into the text file, save it with the .py extension. And as you can see up here, I've got its own folder, generate grade, SPR, uh, underscore grade 2.py. Now, we're going to have to run a command in the terminal. And that's okay. But at the moment, when you power the, you know, when you 
launch the terminal, it's not looking at that um, folder. So I need to change directory, which is CD space. And then I'm on a NAS and it's a bit of a pain to tap in the whole file path. So what I'm going to do is just pick this up and drop that in and hit return and then go LS for lists. List, and here we go, SPR grade two PY. Now, this is actually looking at that folder. So now I need to um, run the script to build the LUT. That's right, so I go Python three space SPR underscore grade two dot PY and hit return. And it's generated the cube file. Yeah, easy as that, isn't it? Easy as that. Will it work? Who knows? Um, interesting, that's how you generate the um, the LUT file using um, the Python script, because Claude is exactly the same. At the moment, at the moment, ChatGPT is the only one that allows you to download the actual .cube file. Right, let's go and head off to an NLE. I'm here in Final Cut, but as I said before, this is going to work with almost any NLE. Um, with the LUT and what I've got is I've got an adjustment layer across the footage so um, it, it's a very just quick way of doing um, almost a one light color grade across all of the all of the footage and I'm going to use the built-in custom LUT from Final Cut drop that onto the timeline and then I'm going to load that LUT so we're going to go LUT choose custom LUT and it's going to be in generate grade it's going to be that one saving private ryan.cube and open that and there we have yeah that doesn't look great does it at all what has it done okay well zero out of ten for deep seek on that now what i'm going to do i'm going to give it one last chance and we'll see if we can build a better LUT. So I need to do a bit of plumbing to get it all working and I'll be back soon. All right, I've done a bit of work and I've made a few screen grabs or actually outputted them from the NLE. Now the first one I've got is the original footage. Then at the same point, I've outputted what uh, DeepSeek made, which is obviously not correct. And then what I also did is I actually found this um, screen grab from Saving Private Ryan. And just a quick mention to Film Grab, which has got a hyphen in the middle, which um, has got an amazing resource of um, film grabs and that you can possibly use for color correction. I don't know what the copyright law is regarding that, but it's got some great films in there. Um, you know, um, if I go films A to Z, um, Let's have a look. Space Odyssey on there. It's got loads and loads of you know grabs on there that might just be handy should you want to emulate some color correction is what I would say on there. Um, but I use that and I tried to pump that into DeepSeek. Now we're all learning, and DeepSeek doesn't actually accept images. It only accepts um, text. However, I've, I've, I've written out a prompt. Okay, that didn't give me what I wanted. I need you to make another Python script with the cube, um, cube LUT to give me the result I want. I supplied you with a three image, which I've just said. And I've said, write me a Python script that will build a LUT to grade my footage to look like the example. Now, I don't think it is going to allow me to do that because we've got the red, yeah, remove, I don't even get that. Um, I don't even get the ability to, to send it. All right. OK. Um, in that case, let me just copy that prompt. Um, have you got the ability to um, look at an image and understand the color? Palette. Let me pump that in and see what DeepSeek has to say about that. Yes, I can analyze the image, describe its color, but include the bright. Okay. Some length colors. Okay, right. Well, maybe you can only put one image in at a time. Okay, so um, please 
take a look at this image. So let's see if we can attach one image, uh, which was the example, it's the one we got from the website, and upload that. Please look at this image. Please look at this image. Okay, so I can't seem to attach an image. Um, they're just JPEGs. I'm going to kick them out as JPEGs. Um, so then maybe there's a way of doing it. No, if you can't tell you, you can describe the image. Uh, yeah. Online, a link to it. There you go. You know, every day is a school day, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's go back to here and we're going to go search and we're going to go saving private Ryan. Saving private. Oh God. Let's have another go. Saving private Ryan. Right, yep, we're there. Go to this one. And whereabouts was the one I got? It was the, the, on the beach. No, it was this one here, right. Okay, um, so let's have a look, see if that, yeah. That's actually the URL for the image, isn't it? Okay. Can you see this? Okay, having to think about it. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the external links, include them when you find. However, if you describe, oh, okay. If you have access to the image online, you can share a link to it and I can analyze that way. Let me know how you soon. Okay, why can't you look at the URL? Great question. I can't view access to external URLs, including images or website text base. Right. Okay. I think we've come to a full stop. By doing the exploration, it looks like with DeepSeek, you can only do text. Um, so you need to get text in and text out. Or if an image has some text on it, it might be able to extract it. Um, just one last thing. Um, what attachments can I give you? And if you've used um, AI, you've seen it just sometimes hallucinates and says it can do things and it doesn't do them. Or it just like, you know, as I said before, it's the lazy teenager. You have to keep prompting it to give it the, give the whole output. Um, an image, you know, you describe the, uh, for example, if you have an image, describe documents, share the text or key points. Your video describes visual style. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we've come to an almighty stop. And it looks like, although you can generate LUTs in DeepSeek, they're not very good. Okay, we've only done one of them as an example, but that didn't work. But generating the LUTs with ChatGPT and Claude um, and Gemini, um, it seems to have done a much better job of, of building the LUTs. So although people seem to be comparing DeepSeek with ChatGPT at the moment, for what I want to do, generating LUTs and color grades, it doesn't do what ChatGPT does right now. So, I mean, you can't enter an image to compare it. Um, the file it gives you, it won't kick out a full LUT, so you have to do a Python script and build that. And that wasn't great anyway. Um, and then what you can do with the other um, the other services is give them a before, before and after and say, this is what you've done. It's not what I want, could do it again, and it'll kick it out again. If one thing comes out of it, that website, um, film-grab.com, is a wonderful resource, um, even just for inspiration. Um, but that's our journey with DeepSeek and um, lots building over for the time being. I do urge you to look at the first video I did when I was building LUTs uh, for grades. It, uh, lots of comments on the video, but basically it did it. We just described how we wanted it to look and it built the LUT. No doubt I'll come back and visit DeepSeek again, but for the moment, that's it. 
and make sure you like and subscribe. Loads of stuff coming up. We're having fun doing this. I hope you're having fun watching it and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.